Okay, welcome back to my new matplotlib tutorial. In this video I would like to explain or introduce a new type of plot which is called contour plot. And I think there are various uh, yeah, examples available also which you find in the internet, but I would like to do this uh, on the example of electric field lines since this I think is uh, very instructive and you can play with this around and see how the different parameters change the output. Yeah, so um, as usual we directly start uh, with our topic. So the first thing which we have to do we have to import of course our pyplot package. For that we have to write import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we will also use numpy later so we can already implement that. And then we have to define our x and y values as usual. So for x we use uh, this time lin space and the interval could be for example minus 5 to 5. This I have tested before and this works quite well. And I also created 200 data points which also looks quite reasonable. And the same we can do for y of course. And there we also go from minus 5 to 5 with 200 data points. And then similar to the previous video we have to uh, create a mesh grid. So we have to write here x y equals n p uh, mesh grid and then we have to insert our x y lists into that and then we get a two-dimensional array for x and y. And then I want to create two point-like charged particles for example two electrons or an electron and a proton. Um, along the x-axis. So um, one should be uh, shifted two centimeter or two units in minus x direction. So we write here x0 minus two and one should be uh, shifted two values or two units in plus x direction. So we write here x1 equals plus two. And now we have to uh, actually define the field of our field lines. So what we what we are doing is actually defining a function and then our contour plot creates slices through this function so or, or levels actually it's called here um, and um, these levels then show where this function which we define now is constant at a specific height in that direction and uh, this sounds a little bit abstract but i explain now um, very briefly how it works so first we define a function f and uh, how this looks like is a little bit uh, or from how we derive this uh, function is a little bit complicated. Now uh, there are analytically approaches for that and one can show that uh, for electric field lines of two charges you can actually write x minus x0 divided by np dot square root x minus x0 and this you have to square um, and then we have to write here plus y zero plus y sorry plus y squared and the same we have to do uh, we can just copy and paste this so we can write here plus the same but in this case we have to replace x zero with x one and this formula can be used to plot the function of the field lines and then we use our contour plot in order to make slices through that and uh, later I will also draw the equipotential uh, areas but uh, this we will do in the next step. So first we will we'll do the following we write again as usual plt and then we will use the function contour and we insert now our x y and f the function for the field lines and uh, yeah just to see how it looks like um, we can now uh, save this fig figure as um, tutorial 7.png and when we run this actually we get here our png and you see that we have here two charges and we have the field line so these are equal charges with the same sign but we can also use opposite ones so we make a minus here and uh, when we plot this you can see now we have here our very nice um, yeah contour plot consisting of lines. However, I would like to not have it in, in color form, but I would like to uh, make the colors black. So I can write here colors equal black. This should be of course here. Uh, so I can write here colors black. And if I now compile it, 
you can see that now the field lines are black. What we can also change is the number of levels, of course. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Um, but we can also insert a number here. So let's suppose we write here 10. Then uh, we can check whether something has changed. It, maybe it was 10 already. Uh, so uh, it didn't change anything. Maybe we can insert 20. And if we now have a look, then you can see now the density of feed lines increases drastically. Now we can see much more. Maybe if we go even higher to 100, then uh, it's very difficult to even identify anything. Uh, so maybe 10 is a good value for that. Um, what, what we can also do with contour plots, uh, in this case it is called contour F, we can draw the faces in different colors. So when we write here X, Y, F, and then let's suppose we use again 10, levels and then we have to define a color map and as usual we use maybe rainbow uh, or gist rainbow what we prefer and when we plot this you can see additionally to these field lines now you have uh, the colored faces in between them so red means basically a very high level high values and um, purple or blue means very low level and here we should maybe increase the number of levels just to make it more prominent visible and now you see that we have quite uh, quite smooth gradient between these lines or fields but still we can see the what distinguish between them by having a look at the black solid lines so this worked quite well and um, you will also find out when you do this that um, uh, when negative values in some cases you might have negative values also then um, these lines will not be drawn as solid lines but as dashed lines so what we can do here uh, in order to make sure that we are always having solid lines we can write ups here for absolute value and uh, as I said it will not change anything here because we had positive values already but in some cases um, it might be an option if you get some unwanted dashed lines or something like that so and now in addition to um, to the field lines, I would also like to draw the equipotential lines. Now, so I can write here E um, and then I want to have this as dashed lines. So I want to create here, uh, I want to create minus values, negative values here. So I will put a minus in front and then I will write here one over NP square root. This is just the ordinary formula for potential as a superposition for two charged particles so we can write here x minus x zero square plus y square and again we can uh, copy that yeah here should be a bracket and here also and then we can just copy and paste everything and insert it here if we put a minus here we should also put a minus here and uh, there we have to write x minus x1. This is in principle everything. When we now compile that, then of course uh, we have to first um, add our plot. So in this case I found out um, that a 10 will not work and you will see now why. Uh, so first we will compile this and have a look. And you see you have a few lines here but they are on the wrong position so in this case the automatically calculated um, values are not sufficient we have to define our levels uh, ourselves so in this case we can insert here an, uh, a list in in the parameter levels and we can write here this i tested that this works quite well minus 0 0.5 because we are using negative values now uh, minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.05. And now we can compile that and have a look. And now we see here these very nice uh, dashed lines around, um, uh, around our charges and they are perpendicular to the field lines, exactly how it should be. And what we can also do here, we can uh, insert this, we have to put directly behind the rainbow uh, C map and this is uh, the function color bar and when we use this then additionally to our plot it will also show a color bar and in some cases it might be nice to have some values here but uh, in this case it would not make any sense nevertheless uh, for some purposes maybe you you need this so now um, I think it looks quite nice however I would like to draw the same not only 
for uh, for one type of charge, but for two, uh, which means one time opposite signs and equal signs. So what I will do now here, uh, I will create a for loop, um, and all these all this stuff will come into that. Um, and now this sign has to change according to the integer that we insert here. Yeah? This is a nice trick, which you can also use in the future if you want. So what you can write here is plus um, minus one to the power uh, i. And then times this here. And now we can copy and paste this also in the formula below. And this means that if we have i equal to zero, then this value is, uh, is a is a plus, so we just add this up, and um, if i is equal to one, so an odd number, then this is minus one, so we uh, subtract this part from here. And uh, of course, we don't want to save it on the same file name, so we um, can actually uh, maybe uh, write it like this. So now we get two files, tutorial seven underscore zero and one, depending on depending on the step in our for loop. And now we compile it. Now you see we get two files. One is, uh, so this is basically the one which we created before, which is now a superposition actually. And uh, this is the new one. And in this case, uh, what we have to do additionally is plt uh, close. Yeah. Sorry, this we have to uh, mention below. And now we can see we have uh, uh, seven underscore one which is the one which we have created before and seven underscore zero, which is the new one where we have opposite charges, which uh, repel each other. And we also have again the equipotential lines. So I think both pictures look quite fancy and nice. And you can play around with this, as I said, try different uh, levels, uh, different numbers of uh, levels that you want to create, different um, uh, another gradient, maybe another color map and so on and try to find few values which are maybe looking better and also you can uh, of course define your own function and play around with that um, if you find a similar formula to magnetic fields maybe it is also nice to test it with this and uh, yeah uh, hopefully um, you you like what i have shown hopefully it helps uh, you a little bit in understanding contour plots and if you like the video please hit the like button please subscribe my channel if you have not done so far and uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon for the next video.